All right, in this video, we're going to go through customizing the look of your customer, customer center. And similar to your icon bar and other things, this is a personal preference setting. Okay, so it's for your login. So we're going to go into the customer center here. First thing that you see, uh, you know, you have your on the left side, all your customers, you have your active customer view, you can change it to all customers or filter by customers, uh, filter by customers with all common fields. So everyone who has um, a customer name, job name, city, state, okay, so you can filter by that. Uh, you can also find here. Right, but we're going to talk about customizing. So first thing, uh, if people are coming from older versions of QuickBooks, they're not used to seeing this view here. So you have here a, a bar that you can extend or or push back. On this side, under your customer names, you can take this and extend the bars, widen them, shorten them as you want to. You can right click and customize the columns that are shown here. So right now we have the attachments. We don't use attachments. We want to review, ref take that away. OK, and it resets it. And now I can see these a lot better here. You also have a bar here that you can drag and drop. So if you want the notes to show more, you don't care as much about the history. You can drag that bar down. And again, same. Any of these are sortable. You see the little blue. I can sort by this. I can also right click and customize the columns and add some additional columns here. So there's a few columns you can add in this view. Now, if you don't care about having this little quick summary page right here, um, you can show the full list only. All right, so if I click this button, show full list only, it gives me the full list here without the little summary on each individual client. And with this one, this view, when I say customize the columns, I right click on this top bar and I customize the columns, I have a whole bunch of additional columns I can add. All right, so if you wanted to add birth date, add that there, okay. And I wanna go in and sort by birth date. You can do that, okay? So it's just a different view. When I go back to this regular view, still stays the same as I had it before. And I go back to this view, still stays the same as I had it before. Spacing changes a little bit. Okay, so you can keep whatever view you like. Same goes for down here. So if you want to show all transactions or you want to show just the invoices and just the open invoices, let's say this fiscal year, that's something I always, people, people always come to me and they say, well, wait, I, I mean, I'm showing the open invoices. It's not on this list. Make sure you have this set right. This, not this fiscal year. I want all open invoices. Okay. So if I save that, if I, if I change this preference, I keep it like that. I exit out come back into the customer center, it's going to keep that preference I had last time. Even here on these columns, stretching it out there, keeps those preferences the way that I had them. Okay. So that's how to customize the look of the customers and jobs tabs. You can also go into your transactions tabs and again, right click, you can custom co customize columns. There's not, there's not as many columns available here, but you can have a whole bunch. So let's just click on invoices and customize columns. You know, you can add, let's say the memo, add that information in here and sort by that. Okay. Um, you can also filter for by invoices, this quarter's invoices, all invoices, all open invoices, overdue invoices, all open sales orders. So it lets you quickly look at transaction data as well as data on an individual customer level in here. And you can customize it to look the way that you want it to look.